Hey lovelies, if you are looking for a nutritious and delicious dish, let's be honest, who isn't, but you're tired of the same old, same old, then today you have come to the right place because I am sharing this absolutely mouthwatering spicy salmon and rice bowl that's inspired by a spicy sushi roll. Oh, and it's so good. The best part is it comes together in under 30 minutes and it can be made in advance, so it's perfect for meal prep. Now, to give credit where credit is due, today's recipe is actually inspired by a blogger called Healthyish Foods. You can find her at healthyishfoods.com. She created this recipe, posted it to TikTok, and it has been watched more than three and a half million times. And when you see it, you're totally going to understand why. Now, I've made some adjustments to her original recipe, but I will link both of those recipes in the description box below, so you can take a look at those when you're done watching this video. Now, to get started, the first step here is going to be mixing up this really delicious spicy sauce. This is the same sauce that you get served on a spicy salmon roll if you're ordering sushi, and it's really simple to make. So in a bowl, I've got a little bit of mayonnaise, and to that, I'm going to be adding some sriracha because we want some heat here. I've got a little bit of tamari. You could use soy sauce instead if you wanted to. And I'm also going to be offsetting that saltiness with a bit of sweetness. And in this case, I'm doing that with some maple syrup, but some honey or some agave would work just as well. We'll give that a quick mix until it's well combined, and then we can just set it aside. Keep in mind, this sauce is really the hero of this dish. If you wanna make a little extra, it's also really good with veggies. If you just wanna dip some veggies in it later, a great snack. Always important to taste while you're making sauces like this. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, that's delicious. Okay, so we're gonna set our sauce aside, and then we'll get to work on our spice blend for our salmon. And what we're looking for here is really to maximize the flavor. So I've got a ton of great spices, most of which can already be found in your pantry, and I'm just going to mix them up. So I'm starting with some paprika here. I've got some garlic powder, some onion powder, some dried oregano, a little bit of cayenne pepper if you like the heat, as well as some salt and pepper. And I'm just going to use a little whisk to give that a blend. And this is how we are going to get this amazing crust on our salmon. Time to get cooking. For this recipe, I've got about a pound of salmon that I've just cut into one inch cubes. I love cooking the salmon in cubes in this recipe because it helps to get all of the sides seasoned and you get this really crispy exterior on your salmon that is absolutely delicious. Now, for this job, I have opted for a non-stick pan. You guys probably know I don't often cook in a non-stick pan, but because we are going to be cooking salmon, we don't want it to stick because if it starts to stick, it'll start to shred, and that's not what we're going for. We want our salmon to stay in these nice, beautiful chunks. So, I've opted for non-stick. Of course, if you wanna go ahead and use stainless steel or cast iron, you definitely could, but you just wanna make sure that you're using ample oil to make sure it's not going to stick. And just as soon as that oil is nice and hot, I'll go ahead and add my salmon to the pan, and I'm gonna let it cook until it turns nice and pink. Now, if you don't wanna use salmon in this recipe, both shrimp and chicken would be great substitutes, but of course, salmon is really perfect because we really are trying to capture the flavor of a classic spicy salmon roll. Now it's time to add my seasoning, and I am not going to be shy with this. I wanna make sure that I'm using all of my seasoning here. I want these salmon pieces to be tons of great flavor. Plus, all of that seasoning is gonna work to create a bit of a crust on my salmon, and that's going to be extra delicious. Now, you definitely don't wanna mess with your salmon too much while it's cooking. Fish, of course, is quite delicate, so it can tend to shred if you overmix it. We're just gonna basically let it cook up on one side, give it a toss, let it cook up on the other side until it's nice and browned on all sides. All right, so this has been cooking for just about four, maybe five minutes, and that's really all it takes. These pieces are looking beautiful. They smell amazing. So I'm gonna take it off the heat at this point, transfer it to a plate, and then we can start assembling our bowls. Now in my bowl, I am starting with a layer of cooked rice. I'm using white rice in this recipe, but of course brown rice would totally work here, or even some quinoa, if you wanted to use that instead, would definitely be a great substitute. On top of my rice, I am going to add some beautiful crunchy cucumber, as well as some nice thinly sliced avocado. I love the creaminess of the avocado and the crunch of the cucumber. It's such a beautiful combination with this gorgeous tender salmon. 
And guys, let's not be shy with the salmon here, okay? We wanna really go for it. It's protein packed. It's full of amazing flavor and color and texture. I've got a couple jalapeno slices here that I've added just to amp up that heat even more. If you don't like the heat, of course, you go ahead and leave that out. Now I'm just gonna drizzle on my amazing dressing. Like I said, it is really the hero of this dish, so do not be shy. And I'll just finish that off with some finely sliced green onion and some sesame seeds for good measure. And oh my gosh, guys, I am not exaggerating when I say that this bowl is basically perfection. It's got the perfect combination of crunch, creaminess, that beautiful flavor and texture of the salmon, plus that incredible spicy sauce. What is not to love? Such a winner. Now it's time for lunch. <laughs> so good. I really hope you guys will give this one a try for yourselves. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, I've linked the original recipe in the description box below, and my version of the recipe can be found, as always, on HealthyMealPlans.com, my amazing meal planning site that allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. It's free to use, and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Thank you, as always, so much for watching and finally if you haven't already be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.